Warning about your cash. Do you know when you save money, that money is no longer yours? You've loaned that to the bank. Now you might think, well, you know, my money is safe in the bank. But they don't say as safe as banks. They say as safe as houses. And what's the only thing that the bank will use as collateral to lend you money? A house. So actually, houses and property are far, far safer than banks. And have you looked at the, the terms and conditions on your savings? So you know these insurance policies you think you've got. You know where you think you're insured to up to £85,000. You know, if there's any liquidity issues with the banks. Have you read those? Do you know what they say? They, those insurance policies are maybes. They may pay on a claim. There is no promise. There is no guarantee. There is no commitment. It basically says they may pay, i.e. should they choose. And most people don't know this. And then do you know your £85,000 guarantee? Do you know this is only per banking group, not per bank? So, you know, you might have thought, well, if, as long as I have some money with Lloyds and some money with Royal Bank of Scotland and some money with Coots, they're all owned, all of them by RBS, which means that you're only insured, apparently insured, maybe insured for 85 grand across the whole banking group, not the individual banks. And you know what? Most people do not know this. Maybe you didn't know this. So if you didn't know any of this, you need to make sure that you get yourself educated. You need to know that savings aren't safe. And when you save money, you're essentially loaning it to the banks. The banks won't guarantee to pay it back. Just like, you know, when you loan money privately, you know, if you just loan money to a friend, there's no guarantee that they'll pay it back. Even if you get a personal guarantee, they can still go bust. It's actually the same with the banks. So you need to be an owner, not a loaner, which means you don't want to be leaving money in the savings accounts. Number one, you don't own it. Number two, they're not guaranteeing to pay it back. Number three, they're making money on it. Number four, interest rates are 5%, but you're only getting one and a half in a Barclays savings account. How's that right and fair? So you need to know all this stuff and this is why I'm doing this live. So number one, make sure that you start earning more money in your own company. And if you don't have a company yet, you need to start a company, it's really simple. Number two is make sure that your money is protected. Maybe it's in gold or silver, maybe it's in Bitcoin, or at least it's spread across multiple assets that go up in value, that beat inflation, that maybe you can leverage instead of it all being stuck in savings. And then the next thing is, and this is really important, you just need to earn a lot more money. You know, there's a budget coming soon. Labour, we all know this. Like some people got suckered in. I sort of did. All right, blimey, he's driving fast. Some people got suckered in because there was like, oh, conservatives have ruined the country. So what we need to do, we need a change. Yeah, let's vote Labour because they'll be better because things couldn't be worse. And bang, they come in and it's getting worse. Now people are getting in prison for social media posts. Criminals are being let out early. Here's the thing, prisons are full, but 1,700 criminals have been let out early and people are being in prison for posting on social media. Tell me that that's not completely messed up. And there are six different taxes that Labour are likely to put up in the next budget. And all this shit is real and it's happening now. It's not me scaremongering, because as you know, I always give you a solution at the end of all my videos. I want you to win. I want you to be financially free. As you know, I'm a fan of money and financial freedom and decentralization. So here's what you need to do as an action right now. You need to jump onto my coming in 48 hours make cash challenge. Over the course of next week, 
I'm going to give you tactics and strategies, actions and accountability every single day so you can put cash in the bank. The goal is three to 10 grand. So I reckon in seven days starting on Sunday in 48 hours, the average person with no money, no experience could bank cash in the bank an extra three grand to 10 grand with what I'm going to teach you and also the community, the accountability, the support, the action steps and the daily doses. So give me a yes in the comments if you'd like to jump in on the challenge, if you'd like to jump in for free. You know I used to do these for Rob.team members only, but now I'm doing this for the entire community. So type yes if you want to jump in. I haven't done one for five to six years since before the lockdown, only for paid members. But I thought, you know what? People need a, a helping hand, a boost. People want a bit more cash. There's a bit of a hangover because there wasn't much of a summer. I'm going to do this and screw it. I'm going to do it for as many people as possible. So just type yes. In fact, you know what? I'm walking, so that's why I'm saying type yes. I'll actually write you the link, the Q jump link. The link is tiny.cc forward slash one zero K challenge. which is 10K challenge. Tiny.cc forward slash 10K challenge or 10K challenge. Maybe that link is clickable. Click it if it is. If it isn't, just go and open a web page now and type in 10 tiny.cc forward slash 10K challenge or 10K challenge. Because I've got a lot of warnings about your money. Number one, it's not safe in the bank. Number two, it's not insured, or at least it might not be insured. There are technicalities in the clauses of the banks which say your money may be covered. They can hold your money, withhold your money at, at their discretion. The money that you've put in savings is a loan to them, but they've given you no collateral. They don't say safe as banks, they say safe as houses. If the banks loaned you money, they'd want a first charge on your property. You haven't got a first charge on their buildings. So essentially you've given them a, a free loan. Now, interest rates can be 5%. They'll give you one and a half percent only when interest rates are five. Yet they'll go and loan it out and they'll probably make five to 8% on your money while giving you one and a half percent. Sounds like a bit of a scam to me. So you want minimum money in savings, maximum in gold and silver, Bitcoin, decentralized, the money you do need to have in banks, because obviously you need direct debits and you, you know, have to have a company bank account. You have to have a merchant. You spread that around different banks. A lot of our bank cash, our liquidity that we have in our companies, we actually put into the S&P 500 or the FTSE 100. I have money in silver and gold and other assets in, in, com in the company. My company owns property. I think property is safer than banks. Why? because banks ask for property as collateral security. So that tells me, you know what? I did used to think the banks were a scam. I did used to think it was a crime against humanity. You know, how they make money out of you, how you don't get your fair share, how it's completely opaque and vague what they do. And then I realized it's just a very smart monopolized business model. And so if I, if I want to win in life and business, I need to learn how the banks make money and play them at their own game. And this is what I teach you to do. I teach you this on my lives. I teach you this in Rob.team. And I'm going to teach you this on the Make Cash Challenge. So if you go to tiny.cc forward slash 10k challenge or 10k challenge, register now, get a free place. Starting in 48 hours, I'm going to do 75 minutes of training and lay out the plan. And then every morning next week, you're going to get 45 minutes shot in the arm from me of content, caffeine, energy, strategy and tactic, some practical ways. And through next week, you're going to be challenged to put three to 10 grand in the bank. Not theory, not learning something like, a, like you would in a college where maybe in five years you might start earning. No, you're going to put money in the bank next week. And whether you're a newbie, you're going to do some more basic things. But if you've got an existing business, you're going to do some more advanced stuff and put that extra cash in the bank. Like I said, the challenges I've done before are all only for Rob.team members. This is the first and only one I'm doing for my wider community. 
go to tiny.cc forward slash 10k challenge. And also, um, you get all the recordings, all the replays. Although when it's finished, that'll be it. I won't do another one for the year, at least. And let's make some cash together. Oh, I didn't mention, I'm giving away silver. I'm giving away prizes. I'm giving away cash. I'm giving away mentoring. I'm giving away a lot of benefits and bonuses. There's probably at least six workbooks, manuals on making money that I'm going to be giving away through the challenge. And anyone can join. Just type tiny.cc forward slash one zero K challenge, 10 K challenge. You've got to look after your money. You've got to make it, then manage it, then multiply it. And um, Philippe has asked, what's the best place to buy gold and silver? If any of you got any questions on buying gold and silver or anything like that, DM me. I actually have a gold partner. I'll tell you where I buy my gold and silver. If you want to know that, just DM me on Facebook. Thanks. For, if any of you want the mentoring with me or the cash or the silver or the, the prizes and the bonuses, join the challenge. Do you like competition? Do you like to win? Do you like accountability as well as just being told what to do? Because this is what the Make Cash Challenge is about. Tiny.cc forward slash 10k challenge. See you there.